Hey, baseball fans, welcome back to Tits and Streams, your go-to channel for daily baseball predictions. I'm Koken, and I'm here to give you the inside scoop on today's top matchups. Before we dive into today's picks, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on our latest predictions. If you enjoy our content, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends who love baseball and sports betting. Our channel relies entirely on your support. We don't have any sponsors, so every like, share, and comment helps us keep going. If you'd like to support us even more, consider donating by pressing the thanks button under this video. We love hearing from you. Drop a comment below. Your feedback makes our channel better. All right, let's get into today's predictions. Today we have predictions for four MLB games. The first prediction for today is for a game between the San Francisco Giants and Cincinnati Reds. The San Francisco Giants are set to take on the Cincinnati Reds on August 4th, 2024 at the Great American Ballpark. This game has everyone talking, as both teams are clawing their way to stay in the playoff hunt. It promises to be a battle filled with top-tier talent and gripping storylines. The Giants come into this matchup with a 55-57 record, keeping themselves within striking distance of playoff contention. They've been hot recently, winning six of their last eight games, including a series split with the Oakland Athletics, a sweep of the Colorado Rockies, and a tough battle with the Los Angeles Dodgers. The pitching staff has been reliable, boasting a team ERA of 4.29, and their offense has been consistent, racking up 487 runs with a 243 batting average. On the other side, the Reds hold a 53-57 record and have shown sparks of brilliance, particularly from their young talents. They've taken three of their last five games, including a series win over the Chicago Cubs. Their pitching has been solid, posting a 3.87 ERA, and their offense has managed 483 runs with a .228 batting average. Ellie De La Cruz has been a standout performer, hitting 257 with 18 home runs and 45 RBIs. Robbie Ray is expected to start for the Giants. His season has been a roller coaster with a 1-1 record and a 4.82 ERA. In his last start, Ray struggled, giving up four earned runs on seven hits against the Oakland Athletics. However, his road performances have been promising, boasting a 1-0 record and a 1.80 ERA in one road start. Ray's past encounters with the Reds show a 1-2 record and a 4.44 ERA, but if he finds his groove, he could be the difference maker. For the Reds, Carson Spears will take the mound. He's been impressive with a 4-2 record and a 3.46 ERA. In his last outing, Spears threw five shutout innings against the Chicago Cubs, showcasing his potential. At home, he's been solid, holding a 3-1 record and a 3.41 ERA over eight starts at the Great American Ballpark. Offensively, the Giants are led by Matt Chapman, who's batting .244 with 16 home runs and 49 RBIs. They've shown resilience, allowing two runs or fewer in four of their last seven games. For the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz remains a crucial player with a .257 batting average, 18 home runs, and 45 RBIs. Cincinnati's offense has been consistent, scoring at least four runs in four of their last five games. Comparing home and away stats, the Giants have struggled on the road with a 22-34 record, while the Reds are slightly better at home with a 28-30 record. Historically, the Giants have had a slight edge against the Reds, holding a 5-5 record in their last 10 meetings and a 3-2 record in 2024. When looking at the starting pitchers, Ray's potential to dominate is key for the Giants. His high strikeout rate and ability to pitch deep into games, despite recent struggles, make him pivotal. Spears, with his consistent performances, offers the Reds reliability. Though his lower strikeout rate might be a concern against a Giants team, adept at working the count and drawing walks. In terms of bullpen strength, the Giants have a higher bullpen ERA, which could be an issue if Ray can't pitch deep. Camilo Duval, the Giants' closer, has been reliable with a 4.39 ERA and 20 saves, but overall, the bullpen needs to step up. The Reds' bullpen, ranked fourth in Team ERA, has been strong, with Alexis Diaz providing solid closing performances. Injuries also factor into this matchup. The Giants miss Heliot Ramos, impacting their power hitting. For the Reds, missing Matt McLean has been significant, though the addition of Ty France aims to fill that gap. Key players stepping up will be crucial in this game. Environmental factors, such as the hitter-friendly dimensions of the Great American Ballpark, favor offenses, especially power hitters like De La Cruz and Chapman. Weather conditions are expected to be clear, which shouldn't impact gameplay. Considering all factors, the prediction leans towards a San Francisco Giants victory. Despite road struggles, 
Robbie Ray's potential to deliver a dominant performance and the Giants' slightly better record against the Reds give them the edge. Additionally, the Reds' inconsistency against left-handed pitchers combined with Ray's strikeout ability could be decisive. In conclusion, the recommendation is to bet on the San Francisco Giants' money line. With Ray finding his form and the Giants' offense showing resilience, they are well positioned to take this game. Bet on the San Francisco Giants' money line, expecting them to secure a crucial win in their playoff pursuit. Welcome to BetUS, Sportsbook and Casino, your ultimate hub for secure and thrilling sports betting and casino gaming. BetUS is one of the oldest and most reliable online sportsbooks in the U.S., serving millions of clients all over the globe each month. BetUS, trusted for over 30 years, offers huge welcome bonuses, countless betting options, and many deposit and payout methods. Depositing funds is a breeze and safe, with a minimum deposit of just $10. Payouts are fast and hassle-free, beginning at only $50. Choose from various payout options like MoneyGram, Couriered Check, Cryptocurrency, or bank wire. Signing up is quick and easy. For signing up, you can use the link in the description and enjoy a generous 125% welcome bonus of up to $3,000. By signing up using the link in the description, you'll also support us as we earn a small commission from your registration at BetUS. Thank you for supporting us. Join now and start winning. The second prediction for today is for a game between the Milwaukee Brewers and Washington Nationals. The Milwaukee Brewers, currently leading the National League Central with a 62-47 record, are set to face off against the Washington Nationals, who sit at 49-61 and 4th in the National League East this Sunday afternoon at Nationals Park. On the mound, the Brewers will feature Tobias Myers, while the Nationals will counter with Mitchell Parker. Despite the Brewers' stronger record, several factors suggest the Nationals could pull off an upset. Washington comes into the game with a boost of confidence after breaking a five-game losing streak with a victory in the second game of the series. This home win could be a turning point, especially considering the Nationals' recent success against the Brewers, having won two out of three in their last home series. Mitchell Parker, with a 5-6 record and a 4.31 ERA, will take the mound for the Nationals. Parker's season has had its ups and downs, but he's shown flashes of brilliance. His recent outing against the Diamondbacks saw him pitch five solid innings, allowing just two runs. If Parker can replicate that form, he could give the Nationals a strong chance to compete. The Nationals' lineup has potential despite recent inconsistencies. Luis Garcia, leading the team with a 2 2 batting average, and C.J. Abrams, with 16 home runs and 54 RBIs, are key players to watch. Garcia's near-cycle performance in Saturday's win highlights the team's offensive capabilities, which they hope to carry into Sunday's game. Defensively, the Nationals need to tighten up to support Parker. The bullpen, though inconsistent, has shown resilience at times. A solid defensive effort, combined with timely hitting, could make the difference. Tobias Myers, boasting a 6-4 record and a 3.10 ERA, will start for the Brewers. While Myers has been effective this season, his last outing was cut short after just four innings against the Marlins. The Nationals will aim to exploit any early opportunities against him, potentially forcing the Brewers to rely on their bullpen, which has shown vulnerabilities recently. Milwaukee's offense, spearheaded by Christian Yelich and William Contreras, has been productive but inconsistent. The Brewers' recent series, losses to the Marlins and Braves, reveal potential weaknesses that the Nationals can exploit. Limiting Milwaukee's big hitters will be crucial for Washington's chances. The home field advantage at Nationals Park, with the support of the local crowd, could play a significant role. Nationals Park has seen its share of memorable moments, and this atmosphere might just tip the scales in Washington's favor. Betting lines favor the Brewers with a minus 1.5 run spread, but this game has upset potential. The over-under total runs margin is set at 8.5, hinting at a moderately high-scoring game. Given the pitching matchups and recent performances, betting on the Nationals to win and cover might be a smart move. In conclusion, the Nationals have retooled their lineup post-trade deadline, have the home field advantage, and a history of surprising stronger teams. This could be an ideal spot to back the underdog, especially since the Brewers have been underperforming recently. While Milwaukee appears stronger on paper, a strong performance from Mitchell Parker and the momentum from their recent win could lead to a Nationals upset. The Nationals have demonstrated resilience and the ability to surprise, making them a solid pick for this game. 
The third prediction for today is for a game between the Miami Marlins and Atlanta Braves. On August 4th, the Miami Marlins will face off against the Atlanta Braves at Truist Park. The Braves have already showcased their dominance in this series, clinching the first two games with solid performances and aiming to sweep the series on a high note. Currently, Atlanta is in a strong position in the National League wildcard race and looks to close the gap in the NL East, while Miami struggles at the bottom of the division. The Marlins have had a rough season, plagued by inconsistency and underperformance. They come into this game with a poor record, significantly lagging behind in both their division and the wildcard race. Offensively, Miami has been struggling, ranking near the bottom of the league in runs scored, home runs, RBIs, and on-base percentage. Their team batting average of .237 and a slugging percentage of .363 underline their offensive woes. Although key players like Jake Berger and Jonah Bride have shown glimpses of potential, it has been a tough ride overall. Taking the mound for Miami is Edward Cabrera, who has faced a challenging season. With a 1-3 record and an ERA of 6.65, Cabrera has struggled with consistency. His whip of 1.55 and a KBB ratio of 56-26 over 43.1 innings highlight his control issues. Despite a promising last start against the Tampa Bay Rays, where he pitched five innings, allowing two runs on three hits and striking out seven, his overall season performance remains shaky. Cabrera has faced the Braves three times in his career, all at Truist Park, with a 0-1 record and a 4.85 ERA in those outings. Ray in. The Braves, meanwhile, are in a much better position. They hold a solid record and are competing for the top spot in the NL East, currently trailing the Phillies but leading the wild card race. Atlanta's offense has been potent, with a team batting average of 239 and a slugging percentage of 408. Averaging 4.25 runs per game, they are in the middle of the pack. Key contributors like Orlando Arcia, who recently homered in the series, and Ozzie Albies, who has been a consistent threat at the plate, strengthen their lineup. On the mound for the Braves is Max Fried, returning from the IL to make his 19th start of the season. Fried has been reliable, posting a 7-5 record with a 3.08 ERA and a 1.16 whip. His strikeout-to-walk ratio of 95-34 over 108 innings is impressive, and opposing batters are hitting just 2.27 against him. Fried's history against the Marlins is solid, with a 5-3 record and a 4.03 ERA in 14 career starts. His presence on the mound gives the Braves a significant advantage. Analyzing the team's recent performances, Atlanta has dominated Miami, winning seven of the first eight meetings this season, including the last six straight. The Braves' bullpen has been strong, with a save percentage of 69.2%, and their offense remains a constant threat. The familiar surroundings of Truist Park add to Atlanta's home field advantage. Injuries have also played a role in this matchup. The Marlins have had to navigate numerous setbacks, impacting their depth and performance. In contrast, the Braves have managed to stay relatively healthy, allowing them to maintain a steady lineup and rotation. Statistically, the Braves have a clear edge. Their pitching staff ranks among the top in the league in ERA, hits allowed, runs allowed, and strikeouts. Offensively, they have more firepower, with key players consistently producing in crucial situations. In contrast, the Marlins' pitching and batting stats rank near the bottom of the league, highlighting their struggles. Given these factors, the prediction heavily favors an Atlanta victory. The Braves' combination of a solid pitching rotation, a potent offense, and home field advantage makes them the clear favorites. Edward Cabrera's inconsistencies and the Marlins' overall struggles further tip the scales in Atlanta's favor. For betters, taking the Braves' minus 1.5 on the run line appears to be a strong play. With Max Fried on the mound and the Braves' recent dominance over the Marlins, a multi-run victory for Atlanta seems likely. Considering the Braves' offensive capabilities and the Marlins' pitching struggles, betting on the Braves to cover the run line is a sound strategy. In conclusion, expect the Atlanta Braves to continue their winning streak against the Miami Marlins, securing a decisive victory and maintaining their push toward the top of the National League East standings. The combination of Fried's return, the Braves' offensive firepower, and their recent success against Miami makes them formidable opponents in this matchup. Bet the run line and take the Atlanta Braves. The fourth prediction for today is for a game between the Kansas City Royals and Detroit Tigers. On August 4th, the Kansas City Royals are set to face the Detroit Tigers in a matchup that seems to heavily favor Kansas City. 
The Royals have been on a tear, winning five of their last six games and showcasing a potent offense that has overwhelmed their opponents. In contrast, the Tigers have been struggling, losing five of their last six and displaying significant weaknesses both at the plate and on the mound. Kansas City has been firing on all cylinders offensively, boasting a team batting average of 252 and a slugging percentage of 412. With 519 runs scored this season, they average 4.7 runs per game. Bobby Witt Jr. has been leading the charge with a stellar 345 batting average, 20 home runs, and 79 RBIs. Supporting him are Vinny Pasquantino and Paul DeYoung, with Pasquantino delivering clutch hits, including a pivotal home run in their last game. Starting for the Royals will be Michael Wacha, who has been a reliable force this season. He holds an 8-6 record with a 3.58 ERA and a 1.20 whip. Wacha's last outing saw him pitch seven strong innings against the Chicago White Sox, allowing just two runs. His command has been exceptional, striking out 91 while walking only 31 over 108 innings. The Royals' bullpen has been a strong asset, with a collective ERA of 3.78, ranking them 8th in the league. They've successfully converted 65% of save opportunities and limited inherited runners to a 25.5% scoring rate. Defensively, the Royals are solid, with a plain 87 fielding percentage, placing them 6th in the league. On the flip side, the Tigers have been faltering. Currently 4th in the AL Central, they have a team batting average of 230 and an on-base percentage of 295, scoring an average of 4.18 runs per game. Matt Veerling has been a rare bright spot, batting 251 with 13 home runs and 42 RBIs. Detroit's pitching has been less than stellar. Their team ERA stands at 4.00, and their bullpen has a save rate of just 56.1%. Rookie Bray and Sammons will take the mound for the Tigers. With a 5.19 ERA and a 0.58 whip in just 8.2 innings, Sammons shows potential but lacks the experience needed against a formidable Royals lineup. Head-to-head, Kansas City has had Detroit's number, winning 10 of their last 11 games against teams with losing records within the AL Central. The Tigers have struggled in similar situations, often trailing after five innings in recent home games. Kansas City's road performance has been impressive, winning nine of their last 11 away games. Offensively, they've been explosive, scoring at least seven runs in four of their last five games. Meanwhile, Detroit's pitching woes have been apparent, allowing at least five runs in their last five games. Betting lines favor the Royals with a minus 1.5 run spread, and the over-under is set at 8.5 runs. Based on current form and statistical analysis, Kansas City is expected to win and cover the spread. Their offense is in high gear, their pitching is consistent, and they have all the momentum heading into this game. In conclusion, while sweeping a four-game series on the road is a tough feat in MLB, the Royals are in a prime position to do so after their Saturday night win. The Tigers' struggles make them a risky bet for the remainder of the season until their key pitchers return. Given Kansas City's superior offensive and defensive capabilities, they are the clear favorites. The smart bet is on the Kansas City Royals' money line and the game to go over 8.5 total runs.